David here with Fig Boot on Pens, back again with another review. Today I have for you something which I've really grown to anticipate every three months, and that would be the seasonal rollerball release from Tactile Turn. On a quarterly basis, over the last couple of years, they've released a new limited run design, and so far, in my opinion, most of them have been home runs and really hit the mark in regard to a quality pen with a unique theme and design. Uh, and there are a few new features about this specific pen that hadn't been used previously in other seasonal models. While I do use fountain pens as much as possible, there are many situations where a rollerball or ballpoint or gel pen is the right tool for the job. Um, I do carry one around with me every day in my Hobonichi. Um, that, uh, you know, um, with it being December, it is getting close to the annual Hobonichi changeout. Um, there's some information I keep written down in the back of my notebook that I transfer over to the new notebook every year, so I need to get to that soon. Time this year is quickly running out. Uh, in regard to tactile turn pens, um, I typically keep one sitting on my desk behind me, and uh, if I need to jot a note down quickly, like on a sticky note or some non-fountain pen friendly paper, I use one of the previous seasonal releases. Um, lately, I have been using either the Fairway, which is their golf-themed model, uh, or the GT, which was really inspired by the Ford GT. I just really like the color combinations here. I'll show you some of the other seasonal releases during the size comparisons, but these two uh, are my recent favorites. Uh, in regard to how these seasonal releases work, uh, they are not limited editions. Rather than a limited number of pens being produced, they only uh, are available for a set period of time, typically around a month. They'll be continually produced during that time and then retired not to be produced again. They've been a really big success for the company. So what interesting theme have they come up with this time? Um, it arrives in this narrow box. Um, they also include something that I feel is really cool, which is a, a metal card that talks about the pen. I'll give you a closer look at this during the size comparisons, but it's really a neat thing that they include uh, with these seasonal models. Uh, they also included a nice sticker. And then also I kind of like that the, uh, uh, the uh, logo on both sides of this uh, box kind of match the pen as well. And then inside we have the pen. And this is the Tactile Turn Nexus. Uh, on the Tactile Turn YouTube page, you can see a promotional video they made for this pen. Uh, the pen is an homage to the cyberpunk genre. The Nexus imagines a dystopian future where the lines between human and technology are blurred. Uh, and in reality, the company has used their machines to create an analog tool for you. Um, on a side note, I do consider myself to be a computer gamer. I dabble in consoles as well. I have nothing against consoles, but for the most part, I am a card-carrying member of the glorious PC gaming master race. Um, over the years, I have played a lot of open-world RPG games like the Witcher series and Skyrim and Red Dead Redemption 1 and 2, the, all of the GTA series. Uh, there are several others. But a couple of years ago, I was really excited when CG Projekt Red released Cyberpunk 2077. Uh, it was one of the most anticipated games in recent memory, and due to an astronomical number of technical glitches and bugs, the game was quickly met with a great deal of disdain. Um, I, I purchased the game on the day of its release and played it for a little bit and then decided to wait until they got all the kinks worked out uh, and released a couple of patches. Uh, but then I started playing other games and I really haven't gotten back to Cyberpunk. Now, after a few patches, the issues with the game has pretty much been worked out or significantly reduced, and the overall feeling from the community is that it's a solid game. So I, I think I need to get around to playing it. Uh, okay, that is enough of Fig Boot on games. Let's get back to looking at a pen. Uh, the Nexus is based on Tactile Turn's side click architecture. Um, it's available in three different sizes. There is the standard, which is 5.8 inches, the short coming in at 5.3 inches, and then we have the mini, which is 4.6 inches. The pen is made from titanium and covered in a glossy white Cerakote finish. 
Um, something I really didn't notice until I was doing some measurements on this pen is that the business end of the pen here is just slightly thicker than the rest of the pen. Um, it's barely noticeable. It's only about half a millimeter, uh, and it's an element which has been present on each of the seasonal releases to date. I just really never noticed it. Um, I find that this particular finish smooths out one of the distinctive elements of tactile turn pens, and that is the groove, which extends from tip to tip. On some models, this groove is a bit more prevalent. Um, I found that on tactile turn pens, sometimes uh, they're not best used with certain elastics. Um, the one here on my pop-off leather Hobonichi cover started to receive some damage from repeated inserting and extraction of a tactile turn pen. Uh, the grooves, while they are not overly sharp over time, had a bit of a sawing effect on the elastic, causing a bit of damage. Uh, but there could be a few other contributing factors to that as well. But it's just something to keep an eye on. Um, at the top of the pen, there is a muted gray knock. Uh, and then on the side of the pen, in fuchsia is the side click mechanism. Um, you depress the knock to extend the writing tip and then click the side button to retract it. Um, it's a fun mechanism to play around with. Uh, when I use this pen, I tend to mess around with it like a bit of a fidget toy. Um, I will say that when I first received this pen, the mechanism was just slightly stiff, nothing too bad, uh, just enough for me to notice it, but after a few clicks, I did feel the mechanism smooth up a bit, so it just needed a, a little bit of breaking in. Uh, then we have the clip, which has a dual layer circuit pattern and a single fuchsia screw. Um, I do like this distinct pattern. Now, part of me wanted to do a bunch of research into circuit boards to see if this patterning was distinctive uh, or referred to anything, like it's the motherboard to a Nintendo Switch or something like that. Um, I guess I could have asked the tactile turn folks about that. Oh well. Um, I do find the clip to be a bit stiff. Um, but something I have always really liked about their clips is that on the underside of it, it's engraved with the name of the company as well as the year the pen was produced. I like that it's something hidden under the clip, out of plain sight. I will say, uh, this is something which I have seen on just about all of the seasonal models. The uh, Cerakote on the screws really doesn't hold up well to the torque when they're screwed in. Uh, there's typically some internal chipping on the material. Now this is something typically I can only see under heavy magnification, so it's not a visual flaw that bothers me, since I really can't see it with the naked eye. But from a manufacturing standpoint, it'd be nice to figure out a way to prevent that from happening. I mean, how do you tighten the screw without slightly damaging the coating? I'll show you a comparison here in a minute, but this model incorporates what the company is calling a deeper carry clip. Uh, basically, this back portion here is shorter, so the pen sits deeper in your pocket. It's a minor change, but a nice one, especially on some of the shorter models. In regard to ink, the standard comes with a Pilot G2.7 millimeter refill. The short is equipped with a Schmidt EasyFlow 9000 in medium. Uh, and then the Mini has a Mini Pilot G2.7 millimeter refill. Uh, there are many other refill types that will work with these pens. There are a list of compatible refills on the Tactile Turn site. Uh, there are some which work without modification and others which require some trimming. Uh, they have, really have a nice helpful guide which shows you the exact amount needing trimmed. Typically it's only uh, like one or two millimeters. Um, as I mentioned up top, the Tactile Turn Nexus is available for a limited time, only on the Tactile Turn website. Um, I believe they're available in until December 31st, 2022. I'll put a link in the notes below where you can check out these on their site. Um, all three of these pens, the three sizes of the pens, are priced the same. They're going for $149, which has been the standard price for the, se uh, the uh, seasonal models for a while now. Um, I think there was one that was slightly more, but most have been $149, which I feel is a reasonable price for what you receive here. It's a quality writing instrument with a cool and unique theme. Um, I, I think that Tactile Turn has done a great job with their seasonal releases, and the Nexus is no exception. Okay, now for some size comparisons. Please join me over here at camera two. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Tactile Turn Nexus. I uh, wanted to give you another close-up look at that very cool clip. It's just a really neat colorway.
Uh, and then also it has just much more of a glossy finish. So while you can still see the grooves in here, they're not as prominent as, let's say, the fairway. And so you can see the grooves on the fairway are just a little bit more prominent, and this one is a little bit more glossy. Oh, and I also wanted to show you the uh, deeper clip as well. So you can see in comparison to this GT how this is a little bit more shallow. This piece in the back is a little shorter so that it can fit deeper into your pocket. But in regard to those size comparisons, uh, here is that fairway model and then here is the GT uh, and then this is the Nautilus and here was the Stealth. And then finally here is the Trailhead, which was the previous model. Uh, and you can see the Trailhead was a little bit thinner than all of the other models. And in regard to a couple of other tactile turn pens, um, we have uh, this one here, which was the Shaker. Uh, and then this is a tactile turn gist, which is the fountain pen. And this one has the Damascus section on there, which I think is really cool. I hope that they will get back to making fountain pens in the somewhat near future. Uh, and then this one here is one of their bolt action pens, which is nice. Uh, and then finally, this is a, one of my favorite bolt action pens of theirs. Uh, it just has a really smooth action to it. Uh, and then this one is made of that Damascus as well. And so I just think the patterning on there is really, really cool. And then even down to it, let's see if you can even see, but the top of this piece right here, inside here is Damascus. And so it has a nice patterning on that as well. And then plus the end of the barrel, let's see if you can get that. There we go. Uh, it has a really nice, cool pattern on it as well. And that's what it looks like in comparison to the Nexus. We'll do a quick writing sample here. Uh, this is the tactile turn. Nexus. The uh, G2 refill that this comes with uh, is one of my favorite. I just think it's really smooth and has nice flow to it and something that I enjoy. Oh, I forgot to show you guys the card. Um, this is a really cool card that they include in each one of the uh, seasonal releases. I just think it's really neat. Also, I think on this particular one, how it's neat how this particular pattern matches this part of the pattern exactly, so that they use part of the pen, a part of the pattern in the pen, in with this. And I think that that's really neat. So there is the Tactile Turn Nexus. Um, I think that this is another hit for them in regard to a seasonal release. It checks a lot of the right buttons for me and I think it looks cool and interesting. And I look forward to seeing what the Tactile Turn team comes up with in the next seasonal release. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll talk to you later.